Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Ashley. I'm a homeschooling mom with seven kiddos, um, ranging in age from 12 down to almost a year. We have been homeschooling for going on our fourth year of homeschooling and um, we were previously in public school. So um, if you are coming from public school and you are now about to homeschool, which I think a lot of people are um, right about now, <laughs> then welcome because we have quite a bit of stuff here on this channel that I like to talk about. Um, okay, so I did a video just recently, a flip through on, um, actually I did a flip through on each of the levels for the Good and the Beautiful, the Simply Good and Beautiful math curriculum that they have just released that kind of replaced their older curriculum. And um, I wanted to, because we've, done two weeks now of, of schooling this year. Um, I've been able to see what I really, really like about this new curriculum. I have my fourth graders math in front of me. Um, I'm not going to do a flip through, but I'm going to show you kind of my, the points that I want to make. Um, so prior, when I did the flip through, I had just looked through it. I had not even, um, obviously we hadn't started schooling yet. And so I couldn't compare the two um, additions. And um, I can now say that this has absolutely um, been a very, very positive change. And um, like I said, I'm going to use my fourth grader for an example because um, hers actually has a, a um, feature in it, which I'm not positive on the other grades. If third grade and fifth grade also have this feature, I have not looked. Um, because I don't have anybody in fifth grade this year. I mean, in third grade this year or fifth grade this year. Um, but a few points that I wanted to make on this new curriculum that I think are super helpful if you are searching for a new math curriculum, if you are um, just getting started and you don't know where to start. And um, like I have said before, one of the main things um, is and I'm kind of making this video for those that maybe are unfamiliar with the good and the beautiful. We did not start out using them. Um, I, I'm my homeschooling style. I don't have, I am not secular or non-secular. Um, I do not have a preference. I use the curriculum that I like and what works, what my kids, um, work best with and what I work best with. So when I was searching for curriculum, it was not a deal breaker if there was religious context or not. Um, now, if there's something against religion, religion, then I'm going to steer clear of that. But it was not something that I was actively looking for a particular kind of curriculum. Um, I was simply looking for, for something that I felt um, was easy for my kids to follow, easy for myself to follow, um, and interactive because keeping their attention, especially on something with math, unless your kid really, really loves math, is hard and has been hard for me. Um, and so I am thankful for this curriculum. Um, like I said, it does have religious context in it. That does not bother me. It wouldn't bother me if it didn't. Um, my oldest, my seventh grader, they do not have um, a math curriculum from the Good and the Beautiful for his age. So we have gone back and forth with different things. Um, we have used um, Horizons. We did Go Math. We did, um, um, what was the other one? Envision Math. Um, Envision Math and Go Math were both um, public school curriculums, and um, we are currently using Math UC. So I do not, when I am looking for curriculum, I, I look for just simply a curriculum that, I, that meshes well with us and whichever child is using it because, like I said, my seventh grader is using something different, not because I don't want to use this, but because they don't have it in this quite yet in this curriculum. So long story short, um, you know, when you are looking for a math curriculum, you want it to be engaging enough 
You don't, unless your child works well with just simple black and white, and that's it. Um, you know, you want it to be somewhat interactive and where they can kind of, you know, it's not just, just so dull. <laughs> Guys, sometimes math is just so dull. Um, so in a nutshell, this curriculum, they changed to make it more simple, to make it for more um, user friendly, I guess, not only for the child, but for the parent as well, um, with less manipulatives um, and, and less just stuff. Um, so one thing, my first thing, my first point um, that I have seen with this math versus the old edition. And like I said, this is what this looks like. This is fourth grade, um, is the simplicity of it. So looking at, I'm going to just pull any random lesson. Um, so we're doing, we did some place value last year. Um, we are doing more place value this year, but the lessons are now obviously as you get into the higher grades they're going to be a little bit longer for example my kindergartner and my first grader may just have one page like literally one page and that's it um this one well this is review because this is division but let's say place value here's your lesson seven here and here and then you have you know certain things that you certain problems but then you also get to color this picture so it's not, and then there's, and then that's the next lesson. So it's not like pages and pages and pages. We will get there probably um, because I know my seventh grader currently has some pages and pages, but that's pre-algebra, so that's a little different. But um, the, the lessons themselves are a lot simpler and a lot shorter. So here's like expanded form and you have, you know, little interactive, games or activities that go along with it. So here's your lesson eight and then a little review and then that's it. So the lessons themselves are shorter, um, more simple, but more straightforward. Um, I felt like the other edition, like I said, there were so many like, you know, here's a game and let's play this game five times and you know, here's the review and then here's the actual lesson. And there were so many parts in this, in each lesson that it was just sometimes overwhelming. And it was like a lot of, I don't want to say unnecessary because obviously practice is good, but sometimes it was just like enough already. <laughs> um, so number one, the simplicity of it. Um, number two, the fact that this is for fourth level four my fourth grader, they have the scan feature. Okay, so at the beginning of the lesson, at the beginning of the lesson, let me see if they have one here. Okay, um, they have a little scan thing here. Now you can either scan that or you can go onto their website and they have a section for math four um, that will go over the lesson. And she literally takes my phone, scans it, and it goes over the lesson. That's amazing to me because I enjoy that part of a curriculum like that, that can, that can teach because a lot of times this is my child that her and I sometimes butt heads when it comes to me teaching new concepts and teaching new things, because I don't know if it's her way of learning or if I'm just not explaining it correctly, but sometimes it's a struggle. And, um, she did, a year of kinder in public school. This is one of my public school kids. So um, having somebody else teach this concept without a CD or without having to go online, you know, like log onto a computer and do all that is great. It has been great. And I really didn't think, I thought it was just kind of gonna be a short little, you know, excerpt where if you needed help, then, you know, Maybe there was like a Q and A or something like that. No, the person actually tells you. And so since she started the math, she has not, she's maybe asked me a few questions, but other than that, she's done this pretty much independently. And um, which, you know, she should be, she should be at this point, obviously. But, you know, last year we would sit down and we would do, it, and then we would do the games and we do all this stuff. Now, 
you know, if there's a game in here that I can play with her, then I will absolutely do that. So another um, thing, like I just mentioned, was um, the manipulatives. So in third grade last year, we had a like cardboard box and it had game pieces and it had game cards and it had dice and it had things that we cut out and it had little, you know, like number cards and all of these things that we would constantly, constantly lose. They do not have that this year. Um, she has this and then she has um, another little book that it comes with and um, that's it. So the, what the games were previously um, in the other editions, I'm trying to find, see if I can find one here, um, are all mixed into this lesson or these, you know, these lessons. So like little things, I mean, just activities, they're all just mixed in there. So it's not, there's not a whole bunch of pieces. There's not a whole bunch of stuff. Even the younger grades, my kindergartner and my first grader, their box is like this big and has like a few manipulatives inside little baggies, as opposed to all of the stuff that I was having to keep track of in this large cardboard box. So that has been great. That has been great. Um, finally, the cost of it. So the cost um, of the Good and Beautiful before, um, I don't remember the exact cost, but it was significantly more. Um, and so I believe this was like $49. All of the levels are $49. And so it is amazing what you get with that price. And really to get a math curriculum that is that cost that includes all of this is a steal. So just a few pointers, just a few things that I wanted to point out after this using this curriculum for a couple weeks, some things that I've noticed that um, are just really positive things. I have not seen any negative um, with this change in their additions. Um, and I really enjoyed and my kids have really enjoyed using this, even the ones that I felt did not um, maybe wouldn't necessarily enjoy it. Once we get like to the little game portion, they're all in. So anyway, if you have any questions about the Good and the Beautiful math, um, old editions or new editions, let me know um, down below. And if you have started to use it, if you like it, um, I will link the flip through. If I haven't linked it already, I will link the flip through um, that shows you. I'll probably do the math for since it has the little um, scan thing in here. Um, but I do have a flip through of all of the maths that um, the levels that I have. So I have the kinder, the first and the fourth. So let me know if you have any questions, guys, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.